Okay, we're gonna make a charm for necklace out of cat can tabs, or you can use soda can tabs. It's not gonna look like this one. This one was just my first one that I made. Anyway, you take the tabs from the cat can. You can also keep the cat can and recycle it and buy these lids and put your stuff, um, your arts and crafts in them. Anyway, you're gonna need five of these and one soda can tab. You're gonna need needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and oh, sorry, my wire couldn't find it. Um, and a button. You can do one button, two buttons, whatever you want to use. So first, we're going to start out by cutting a long piece of wire. Taking cat can tabs, leaving a tail twisted around one of the sides of the cat can tab. Leave the tail in the back because we're going to need that at the end. Then you want to take your other end and string another one through, slightly overlapping it. Now you want to do this as tight as you can. Put it through the first hole. And wrap it around. Then up through the second hole. Pulling as tight as you possibly can. Then down through the first hole again. You can do this two or three times. I recommend three. But I'm just going to do two for now, just to show you. Okay, now bring it around the back and string another cat can tab there. Slightly overlaying it, or you could put it underneath. So whatever way you want to do it, I'm just going to put it underneath. Put it through the hole, the first one. making sure it's as tight as it possibly can be. Put it through the third one. And then down through the second one again. Bring it around back. Put on another one. I'm gonna put this one on top this time. Bring it through the third hole, up through the fourth hole, down through the third hole. Bring it around back, put on your final caption tab. This one's I'm going to put underneath. Bring it through the fourth hole, up through the fifth hole, down through the fourth hole, and across. It should look like that. Okay. Now, I would take the pliers and just flip them out a little bit so that they're nice and tight. You gotta make sure that there's no rough edges along the sides of your tabs. Bring them together to look like a flower. And feed it up through the first hole. Oops. Down through the last hole. Pulling it as tight as possible. Up through the first hole. Down through the last hole. Bring it around and take the little tab that we started with and twist it with 
with the wire that we ended with. Cutting off excess. Make sure you leave enough left over to, uh, for later. We'll need to do that later. So then we're going to take the little soda can tab and put it backwards. This kind of helps um, from it getting caught on your shirt. Covers up those sharp edges. And it also is what you attach the necklace to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it through one of the feed wire through one of the holes. Down through the center. What we're doing right now is just securing the soda can tab onto the back. So up through the same hole, down through the center, up through the same hole, and leave that out. So then we take the other wire and we put it through one of the holes down through the center of the small one. Up through another one, down through the center. This is the hardest part of the one that was. And then up through again. Okay, now you've got two wires sticking out. Feed them both through the center. Then you take your button. I don't know what I did with my black one, so I'll use a white one. And this one has two holes. If your button has four holes, make sure you are feeding it through diagonal holes. Like that. And then twist. Okay. Then you want to lay it flat, lay your thumb over top of it, and make any kind of design you want. Make sure that it's, um, the wire's long enough, because at this point, my wire's a little too short. Um, you want to make sure it's long enough. Once you have a twist, you bring it around back of the button, and you wrap it around the inside of the button. Like I said, my wire is too short, so I'm going to pretend that the, that really worked. Now we're going to flip it over. Make sure, ouch, ouch, ouch. Make sure all the wires are laid flat. Then you can take a uh, ribbon and feed it through your little tab and hang it on you like for a necklace. Or you can do what I did. And I made this ahead of time. You just need a clasp and some cheap beads. I used fabric beads. Um, wire. And all you need is a little piece of wire. One of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little loop. Just like that. Can you see that? There's a little loop. Then grab one of your cheap little beads and feed it through. Cut off about that much. Take this again, make another loop. And if you make a whole bunch of these, hook them all together. And then you make this. And then this, you just wire it on the back to your little tab. And that way, you'll have a little necklace.